the fact that it's it's aspirational, it's not inspirational. Yeah? It's you have you have the can of soup that you need in your pantry to mix together with the, the meat that's gonna make the meal tonight even more special for your family. It's not, you know, sometimes when I watch um, like Martha Stewart, I think, wow, that's really good if I had a dentist drill, if I had, you know, the seashells, if I had an entire team of people with me, I might be able to do some of that stuff. So for me, I want to take, I'm having trouble putting my glove on there, uh huh? I love, I only color hair with gloves, so if you ever saw me try to do it without gloves, I don't think I can do it anymore. You know, these gloves from Product Club actually make me better coloring hair. So what I'm gonna do is I want to share with you some of the ideas, and I promised you I was gonna try some new stuff out today. And so one of the things I'm going to be doing is I want to share with you some of the ideas. Anybody have one of these new iPads yet? These things are just amazing, and they actually, I finally found something that thinks the way I do. Yeah. So let's go and let's start with. Do you have that? Oh, look at that. I think that the most important part about coloring hair is to create an experience. Do you agree? Yeah. Anybody can color your hair. I mean, how many things can you do with hair color? Four, right? You can make it lighter, darker, warmer, and cooler. That's it. But it's really about the experience that we create for our guests that separates something that's good from something that we get to do with them, we get to share with them. And there's something I want to start with first. Anybody ever hear this expression about how fashion repeats itself? Round of applause if you've ever heard it. Now, I don't believe it's true. And I believe I can prove it to you also. Never before the 20s, did we have flowers, right? Did we have these dresses that moved and the finger waved hair? Never before the 30s and 40s did we have zoot suits. Never before the 50s did we have a poodle skirt. Never before the 60s did we have bell bottoms. The 70s, a leisure suit. The 80s, Miami Vice, and then grunge. Yeah? Never before 1992, in my understanding, in the history of people, did a daughter wear her mother's pants again because they came back in fashion. Yes? The only reason you wore your mother's pants again was because you couldn't afford pants. Not because they were fashionable again. Do you agree? And what happened was we hit the early 90s and there was a trend forecaster, she's very famous from the Netherlands, and she explained that what happened was, in the early 90s, we hit this level of fear in the world that we stopped moving forward and we just tried to hold on to what we had before. Because we had things like Ebola and AIDS and then terrorism was coming along. And what happens is when you live in fear, you can't move forward. So for the last basically 20 years, we have just been convincing ourselves that somewhere before we were taking the 20s and 70s and putting them together. Yeah? taking the 80s and the 50s and putting them together to make something new. No, we were just regurgitating old ideas. But what's interesting is now we are actually moving forward. Never before have I ever seen ombre hair color where it is lighter underneath and darker on top. Do you agree? Never before have we seen that in fashion, yes? Yeah. So we are starting to move forward now. And I think what's really important, and I learned this um, last week in one of my TED conferences that I listened to on, um, on the internet, we're talking about goals versus needle moves. Yeah? And there's a difference between a goal and a needle move. A goal, when you achieve it, you scratch it off. You hit your goal. You're done. Needle movers are goals that you hit, but they allow you to, to gain momentum. Because you hit the first goal and it leads you on to the next goal, yes? So instead of saying, I want to do $1,000 a week, it's like, okay, I want my guest count to go up $100 a week. So 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100, plus 100 and all of a sudden, 26 weeks later, you realize you're past the goal you would have originally set, and you've got so much momentum, it just keeps going. Does that make sense? I think the ombre hair color for our industry is a needle move. I think it's the first time in the 20 years we've really looked at what we've done and said we're doing something different than we've done. I think some of these shortcuts that are coming back can do the same thing for us. Because we've had trends where we had a short haircut that came in and it went, yeah? 
I tell you, short haircuts you can do more with your hair than with long haircuts, right? The only thing you can't do with a short haircut is pull back in a ponytail. Everything else you have much more versatility. So I think it's interesting right now. And one of the things that has come back into fashion, I will use those words for this. And it was funny because right as I was leaving my house, my wife goes to me, hey, wait, you need this. So she pulled it out of People Magazine. You know, we, we keep certain magazines out of our salon. Like, we don't keep People Magazine in our salon. That's one. Anything that you can buy as you're checking out from the front checkout, we don't have in our salon. I learned this from Rod when I worked at Cutler, because he always used to say, if you're showing somebody something you have already seen, you're telling them something they already know. Yeah? So instead, in our salon, we keep magazines that you wouldn't have at home, things that you look forward to, so while you're spending time with us, you have something to spend time with. But I have to have this People magazine at home before it went in the recycle bin, and it says, Red Rules. Do you know how many celebrities right now are red? Yeah, everybody. You know, right now we've got Drew Barrymore. She's a redhead. Blake Lively is a redhead. We've got Rumor Wilson is a redhead. We've got Rihanna, Scarlett Johansson. We've got some very fashionable, very interesting image celebrities. People who are out there that guests are bringing their, their pictures into us all the time that are now red. And the thing is, is that reds in the past weren't popular because of what? What was the biggest challenge of redheads? They fade, right? So here's what I want to do. I want to share with you today some ideas on how to create great reds. Is that cool? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Because red is my favorite. So the first thing I want to share with you is what is important 